Hello once again our most valid student my name is confident welcome to our revision session for mathematics level 3 students who are doing their NCV and this is trigonometry and as I said guys we are continuing uh, looking at this paper which was written in November 2021 this is for the national certificate in vocational NCV the second paper is what I'm looking at and I have already looked at um, just a quick one that I forgot to introduce to you guys in the previous one. They say round off the answers to the nearest three decimal places. So it's very important. Okay, but uh, long story short, we did question number one and this is what we did. So if you, you, know, you didn't uh, watch that video, I will encourage you to go through that video. Now, first things first, let's look at the housekeeping rules. You need to be subscribed to this, to this channel if ever you want to benefit from everything that I'm going to load. Why? Because when you're subscribed, every time there's a new video, YouTube is going to notify you. The best thing also to do is to make sure that the notification bell is turned on. So go on guys and subscribe. Don't just watch without subscribing. I want you to participate. I want you to share the channel to your friends, to your colleagues, so that they can also benefit remember sharing is caring it is a new channel and i want it to grow fast with uh the motivation that you guys are benefiting so do it now subscribe so that you can be able to see this channel growing and you know what it does to me it just motivates me to bring more of this for you so i'm gonna take you all the way from level one level two I mean level 2, level 3 and level 4. I always confuse with NCV that it starts from level 2. Alright, so we also looked at question number 1.2. It was this working. Now we are looking at question number 2, which is, let me just remove that. And it's trig, trigonometry. Now look at this. Question 2 says simplify the following without using a calculator. I see they just told us. We mustn't use a calculator, but that's where I need a calculator because I just want to know what is the answer here. So when they give me that, I'll simply punch my calculator to say 10 to 1 0 uh, times cos 330 minus sine, uh, where is sine the 80s, 135. If they say don't use, that's when you use a calculator, you know, uh, cos. 2 to 5 and then all over sine 150 let's see what it gives me on the calculator equal to 2 so the answer that I'm getting here is simple equal to 2 so we have to get these five marks and prove in other ways it's simple to say simplify it without using a calculator and show that it simplifies to 2 you know they can you can actually restructure the question you know the answer now go towards the answer so how do you go about this now let, that's what we need to do now let's look at this uh, if I can write this down here I've got 10 210 degrees times cos I'm gonna write it clear for you I'm gonna put it in a clear space minus sine 135 um, then dot cos 2 to 5 and this thing is all over and what sine 150 now this is trick guys and trigonometry is one interesting section and i don't want you to overthink this thing it's not complicated trust me okay i'm gonna just remove that i have to just bring it in it's fine it's not complicated but now look at this if ever you are dealing with trig let's just remove that you need to have what i call the cast diagram and what is the cast diagram so what you do is you come here and have let me have it in different pen have a cast diagram very important and then the cast diagram what does it say it says uh all students take chemistry and then what does it do you start from here it is zero and then you go to 90 anti-clockwise 180 
270 and you got back to 360 and then when you say all students take chemistry remember these are reduction rules what we have in this second this is the first quadrant second quadrant you start like that third quadrant and fourth quadrant when you're dealing with these always start like that then in the um which quadrant in the second quadrant is 180 minus theta or it's 90 plus theta the common one is the second one the next one after 180 we say it's 180 plus theta then here before 360 it's 360 minus theta here you can write also 90 minus theta because it's before 90 see before 90 before is then after and then before and then after here it's after 90 but before 180 so these are the reduction rules then you can simplify this so what do you do you start with 210 so to say when you're given 10 210 you ask yourself which quadrant it is 10 210 is here this is 210 right it's after what 180 so what is it you can see that to get 210 uh, 210 is same as saying 180 plus what uh, if you say 210 minus 180 is 30 so it's 180 plus 30 see that and then what about um, 330 we have 330 here so it's 360 minus 30 if I subtract 360 minus 30 I get uh, 330 seeing that what about 135 it's in quadrant number 2 so 135 is same as what 180 minus I think it's minus 45 just to check and cross check that if I say 180 minus uh, 45 it's 135 yes what about 225 225 is also in this quadrant number three so 225 is equal to 180 plus what you just separate 180 and 225 it will give you the other one so it's 225 minus 180 it gives me 45 so if i say 180 plus 45 it gives me that what about 150 is in this quadrant 150 is 180 minus 30 you get 150 so you see that these are reduction rules that's what I'm gonna write here so this is same as saying 10 210 it's 180 plus 30 you see what I'm doing but let me take this a little bit this side because of my space I've been writing there so it's 10 that times cost 330 we said it was cost 360 minus 30 so times cost 360 minus 30 minus sign 135 became sign um, 180 minus 45 times cost just have to write carefully there cost 2 to 5 the it is 180 plus 45 you see that then i have to divide everything here by what divide everything by sine 150 which is sine 180 minus 30 so that is the reduction rules as i was saying then you start reducing now 10 180 plus 30 we can see is in the third quadrant 10 is positive remember that's what we're saying here to say 10 is positive here so that is positive let me focus on the sign cost 360 minus that cost is positive so even here that cost will be positive sign 180 minus 45 the 35 there it will be positive cost 180 plus 45 which is in quadrant 180 plus 45 is in quadrant that it's negative because only 10 is positive cos is negative 
sine 180 minus 30 is positive because it's in that quadrant. All right, so when you've done that, you now simplify. So this is, you just write 10, 1030. So this becomes positive. Now it's tan 30 times cos, you see, 30 minus sine 45 um, times negative cos, because it's negative, 45, you can put it in brackets, all over sine 30. That's it. Then from here, you need to use special angles. But the special angles, I will encourage you, just go through the calculator, but this is how you use a calculator. You just, remember they say don't use a calculator, but that's how you use it. You say tan 30. You get the answer. You see, it says square root of 3 over 3. But this is the rationalized form. Remember, it comes from special angles. I'm not going to go through that, but special angles means root 3 over 3 is same as saying 1 over root 3. So the one you write is this one. You, you write 1 over root 3. Um, tan 30, we say it root 3 over 3, but this is same as I say it is 1 over square root of 3. So you must know such. For example, if I give you, let me do it here. If I give you 1 over square root of 3, you must know after rationalizing this is root 3 over 3. This is calculator, they will penalize you, you write that. If I give you 1 over square root of 2, this is square root of 2 over 2. This is rationalized, you, you write that. Those are the two that you need to be sensitive on when you're dealing with that. So now 1030, it gave us that 1 over square root of 3 times cos 30. So we try that now. Cos 30, it's square root of 3 over 2. This is the original one. So you leave it like that, which is square root of 3 over 2 minus sine 45 you come uh, do again sine 45 now look at this sine 45 it's root 2 over 2 see when you see these numbers repeating you must know that it's been rationalized and i said for root 2 over 2 you don't write that you write 1 over root 2 see times negative cos 45 now if you remember sine 45 and cos 45 is the same thing uh, root 2 over 2, which is 1 over square root of 2. I think that. And then all over sine 30. And then you write sine 30. And then 1 over 2. So they allow you to use that, but they just don't want to see that you use the calculator. They, they, they think you use special uh, angles, like the triangle, the special triangle. So from here, you can see what needs to go. That can go. So you are left with 1 over 2. So because this is 1, that is 1. So 1 on top over 2 minus, now square root and square root, so it's minus, minus, it will become a positive, that thing. Minus times minus a positive. Now, 1 over square root of 2 times 1 over square root of 2 is simple 1 over 2. But you can test that uh, with a calculator to say 1 over square root of 2 times uh, 1 over square root of 2 what do you get you get 1 over 2 again guys apologies for the for the sound the background noise but um just bear with me so it's plus 1 over 2 over 1 over 2 which is equal to 1 over 2 plus 1 over 2 it's 1 over 1 over 2 1 divided by half is equal to what 2 you can test it with the calculator just to say 1 over half, which is 0, 0,5, which is 1 over 2. You can say 1 divided by 0, 0,5 here. Because some students make errors when they divide that. You can simply say 1 over 0, 0,5. Then it gives you a 2. Then, if you still remember, this thing also with the calculator simplified to 2. So your answer is correct. All right, 2.2. Just moving on to the next one here, 2.2 says use trigonometric identities to prove that. That is five marks.